In the recent past, Amazon has changed a lot of things as far as category restrictions, category closings, and brand restrictions. Today we're going to talk about recent restrictions that Amazon has placed on textbooks. Coming up next. Hey everybody, it's Manny from Manny's Book Bag, coming back with another video. Today's topic is going to be all about textbooks. Books in general, I believe to be still very strong. Uh, textbooks, I believe to be one of the strongest of all the business models. I get textbooks everywhere. I get them in thrift stores. I get them at rummage sales. I also do textbook arbitrage. If you haven't checked it out yet, you should probably try eFlip. Caleb Roth has a fantastic software out there that's really going to shorten the amount of time that it takes for you to research and find gold. Now recently I uploaded a video about Amazon's stance on books sold as new. We all received an email recently reiterating their policies and what their expectations are out of their sellers. Textbooks were touched on in that, although they weren't named. Specifically, Amazon reiterated that every book should match the listing and it should be of the same type and version. They also stated that the book should be sold in the correct countries. Now, books being sold as new, as well as those other points, are clearly Amazon's attempt to tighten the noose on counterfeiters and textbook scammers. Counterfeiting is a huge issue and it is becoming worse. So although Amazon's recent changes can feel like cutting butter with a chainsaw, it's really important to understand that they're just trying to preserve the platform. They will sometimes overreact in how they do it, but overall, they want to make sure that we still have a great place to sell on. In the meantime, if you are doing textbook arbitrage, I want to give you a tip on something to help you avoid counterfeiters or to at least be able to identify that you have an issue. Whenever I identify a book that I am going to buy, I try not to, if at all possible, buy one single copy. I do my best to buy at least two copies from two different sellers. Now, just imagine when you receive the mail, if you receive one book one day and a book at the other, now you have two copies of the book that you can compare them to. If they do not match exactly, if they don't have the same basic colors on the cover, if they're a different size, if they're a different thickness, if there's a different proportion of glue, uh, you more than likely have a counterfeit and it'd be pretty valuable to uh, get in touch with that seller and let them know that you have a problem. Because here's the deal, if you don't catch that you have a counterfeit and you send it into Amazon, if you get called out for selling that counterfeit, you're the one that's going to get suspended, not the person that sold it to you. Also, if you have difficulty keeping track of which seller sold you what, I suggest that you keep the books in the original shipping materials until you're ready to list. The reason is that you may receive multiple copies of the same book, but I promise you this much, they all would have individual tracking numbers. You can use that tracking number to know for sure who sent you the book. Now on to what this video is about. Scanning through the textbooks today, I am noticing that every single textbook that I have scanned now has restrictions on there. These restrictions include not being able to list them as new, and it also says that you can't list them as used. When you tap on the details, it shows you that you can only list them in very good, good, and acceptable. So it looks like moving forward, Amazon may prevent textbooks from being listed in new and like new condition. This should be a heads up for you so you know that moving forward when you list them, especially if you see what I see, you should avoid listing in those conditions. They won't be allowed. I have very few textbooks at all that are listed in like new condition. But if I did, I would pay attention to my stranded inventory. If history repeats itself, the inventory that you currently have at the warehouse, if it's in like new condition or authorized in new condition, you should be okay. It'll probably be fine the way it is. But keep an eye on your strandeds. If for some reason inventory moves over to your stranded inventory, you're going to want to know that right away. We're currently going into a mini textbook season and it would be a pretty bad time to have your inventory go stranded on you. Also, we're heading into heavy preparation for August, so keep that in mind when you're listing. I haven't come across a single textbook yet 
that is completely wide open and unrestricted. So check it out. Let me know what it is you see. Put in the comments below if you find any textbooks in particular that don't seem to be facing this restriction. Also, put in the comments below if you see any specific publishers that are completely gated. I know that it recently came up that uh, Brooks Cole was gated and no one could list their books. Now, I want to let you know, some folks have had success with this that I've helped. Some folks kind of met a brick wall. Specifically, Amazon was gating Brooks Shoes. And I'm, and I'm going to guess because of the name, it kind of got swept in with that restriction. So if you come across a book like that, you should be able to contact Seller Central and let them know that this publisher is gated by accident. It's not a shoe company, it's a book publisher. Now, one or two of you have reported that it did not help and Seller Central wouldn't help you, but many of you did get help and you're able to list those books now. Just so you know, if you see a restricted textbook, make sure that it's not Brooks Cole. Hang in there, folks. It's gonna be a fun ride this year. There's going to be more changes to come. There's going to be more communications that we receive and some like these that we never even receive, changes that just happen. Just stay active on YouTube. Stay active in the groups so that you're not blindsided by these changes. Think about how many sellers don't know anything about this right now. Make sure you keep yourself informed. Folks, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see me make more videos like this one, please remember to share, like, and subscribe to the video to support the channel. If you haven't liked this video yet, I don't know what you're waiting for, but if you could please go ahead and hit that like button for me right now. And lastly, if you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure you tap on that book bag up there. If you tap the bell as well, it's going to set you up with notifications so that you know when new videos drop. Until next time, let's go make some money.